Let's take a look at how you're going to run the Jupiter moons experiment. I've opened up the CLIA exercises here. Notice the revolution of the moons of Jupiter. I'm going to go to File and Log In. Just use your first name here or whatever you want. This will kind of help tell the program where to save your information. And once you've gotten to this opening splash screen, go to File and Run. And I'm going to change the date here to the 10th of September, just so that you can see how to change dates. And this is what the moons will look like on the 10th of September. And this is at midnight. Notice universal time, zero hours. And we're at currently at 100 times. I can zoom into 200 times, or 300, or 400. I also want to change the timing. So I'm going to go here to File, Timing. And we're going to change the 24-hour timing to 6. And then let's take a couple of readings. So I'm going to click on this moon right here. I click on that, and down here in the corner, it tells me that's Io. And it's 1.1 Jupiter diameters to the west, which is to the right-hand side. And I'm going to record that information. And you'll notice a splash screen comes up, and that information is already there. So I click on OK. Then we'll do this moon here. I always like to do the highest magnification possible. There's Callisto. It's 1.51 Jupiter diameters to the east, and I'll record that. The other two moons are not visible, so I'll zoom back out. I'm currently at 400 times, so we'll go to 300, and this moon becomes visible. So I click there, and that's Europa at 4 Jupiter diameters to the west. Click on Record. Still don't see the last moon. Go to 200 times. Here it is off in the far left. And there's Ganymede, 7.35 Jupiter diameters to the east. So we'll record that information. Then I want to save that information for later use. So I'll go to File, Data. And it won't let me save yet. That's OK. I'll click Next. Now the moons have all moved. And now I'll go to File, Data, and Save. And I'll save it initially in the binary format. And I've already got some data there. I'll just save it replace that data. That's from an earlier experiment. And I also want to save it as a CSV file so that I can use it in Excel. So I go to File, Data. I'm going to choose a CSV. That stands for Comma Separated Values. And you can see it says for spreadsheets. And I'm going to change the location so it's easy for me to find. So I'm going to click on my desktop. And I'm going to create a new folder. And we'll call that Clea. And I'm going to change the name, and I'll just call it Mark Ward. And I've got to do that again because I didn't actually save it. And now I'll save it. And there's the Clea folder. I put it on my desktop, and if I double-click that, I can open it up, and you'll see it here. It's got a .csv extension, and this is an Excel icon, so I can open this in Excel. Here it is opened in Excel, and you can see that here are the positions of those four satellites 